Ah, bonjour. Sneaky Linux is back tonight, and I'm back tonight with a Linux console. A really nice one from France. Now, it runs in about 200 megs, and it's just basically for internet, music, movies, and pictures. This version. There are other versions. I'll show you them a bit later. But what we'll do, have a quick look around. This is a real short video, this one, only a couple of minutes. We'll go down to the menu, open up Applications. I'm running for the live CD, by the way, but you can install it. Plenty there in that menu, really, for what you get. Happy words there. We're going to check him out, just in case it don't work. Probably will. Now you'll notice that this system is bloody fast. Very, very bloody fast. You have to really, really hold back on the mouse because it just goes everywhere. It's Abbey Word 244. That's all right. Nothing brilliant. But it will do the job. So no problems from me there. Very, very good. I like it already. Back to the menu. Applications again. As you can see, you can burn CDs. Copy all your CDs. Very, very good. Clear CDRW. We've got any utilities. Uh, just a PPP server, I think. Yes, for remote control. Change your keyboard. Keyboard, even. We've got some tools. Calculator, Xterm, Text Editor, and Xlock. We've got in system. We've got a file manager. You can install it using the live console modules. And you can install more modules also. Got that bit wrong. Sorry about that. But yes, you can install it and add all the extra modules. Internet, you get Dialo, Firefox, and Thunderbird. Quite a lot there, really, for what you get. And then Sound, Audacity, XLMS, and M Player. Nice, nice, nice. That's a modular system, so you just get the bits that you like at the time you need them. We're going to open up the Fox. Now, uh, the module's not installed, so you click OK to install the module. And off it tots, really. And you wait a while, and off we go. Very, very quick. My internet isn't because all the kids are using it as well at the same time. Not good for me. So what I'm going to do, open the page up so we can see a bit better. I'm going to go to the Linux console page. So I would type it into the Google box and see where it takes us. Now the actual page is a mishmash of English and French, which I rather like. At least it means, it, just because he doesn't speak English perfectly, doesn't mean he doesn't know what he's bloody doing, does it? So he must be a good guy. So we'll click on the Linux console. Here we go. Now the one I've got is the multimedia, that's the 200 meg one, for old computers, you can install it, but it comes with the basics. On the CD you get all the modules from the first one, then GNOME, CUPS, GCompress, GIMP, etc. And then for the big baby DVD you get everything. And also you can get the jukebox to just build your own. Now I bloody rather like it. You know, it's a bit different, modular, a lot different from some of the other stuff from the other tiny distros. I like it a lot. Sneaky Linux out.